Please tell me about your, something about your company. Our company is specialized in elongations in paper by mechanical treatments. So we are based in Italy, in Venice. We patent our innovations, we develop them, and we license our technology and know-how. Recently, we have seen that many are interested in also buying equipment. So we do have a partner company in Italy who could supply the equipment because we are talking about for these paper performances relatively small units which could be placed in a paper machine itself or which could be even happening like an offline coater offline beside another paper machine. So we are now even thinking about selling machinery via maybe partners in India in this case or our existing partner in Italy. Indian paper industries are using a different kind of raw materials. Some are agro-based, some are waste paper based, some are virgin food fiber based. In this condition, uh, how will you enhance the productivity and profitability of the company through supplying your patented technology, that is statual, paper statual technology? We have actually in our contact in uh, North and India, a paper company making paper out from bagas fiber. We have made first trials with, if I may say, that excellent results. So the paper meets the elongation, which we can also tailor, so we don't need to have 20 or 30 percent it could be even less for different applications like bags and so on and we are looking into that with them and this is maybe one case where we can say different raw materials rather than the standard recycling fiber or the standard best virgin fiber with super high refining okay for which uh, end use paper application you suggest this uh, your technology would be suitable and should be adaptable we have seen it for 3D packaging applications in our personal past, paper trays, but this is a niche market. So we think as we can have a choice in adding elongation, like also a few percentage point where maybe it is missing, we think we could help saving money in uh, paper making, saving money in recycling, in, in, in refining, we could help saving money in fiber blends where we could re reperform virgin fiber properties having just blends with less precious fibers for example now this is the sector of the cost saving and then as I presented today at this conference we could say we take a recycling fiber we make it stretchable and we do a 3d deformation in order to have a 3d new novel flute where this surface is always this surface if instead if you have traditional corrugate you would have the so-called take up factor so the material used for the waves for this would be that much longer and our recent development was to have a longitudinal fluting material so this is very very curious because nobody has succeeded without shrinking the web width to have ingoing width the same as the outgoing width in a longitudinal flute. This is an interesting approach because the fibers are lying along with the waves mm -hmm. and this should lead to better mechanical properties when it comes to box compression tests. Okay. See ma'am, uh, technology demands a premium on the prices and uh, how do you see your uh, technology in terms of Indian pricing, ma'am? Indian. It is about uh, the uh, the amortization of buying an equipment because our our machinery or our equipment is relatively small compared to a whole paper machine. So it is something which is taking the space of two dryer drums. I can't tell you now. It costs. Uh, X rupees because this depends on the paper machine, on the speed, on the grammage, on the width, so this can change very much. But still we think it is a relatively attractive tool for making a lot of your paper. So today, yesterday, the paper conference, they said everybody knows what the raw material costs, what the, what the, paper, uh, the water costs, what the electricity costs, so you don't have a chance to act price-wise uh, towards your customer if you have a totally new product nobody can do accounting in your pot in your pockets
वट विल यूर मोड ऑफ ऑपरेशन फॉर इंडियन मार्केट हाउ हाउ यू वॉन्ट टू ऑपरेट हाउ वॉन्ट टू यू डिलीवर यूर टेक्नोलॉजी टू इंडियन मार्केट हैव यू प्लान एनी थिंग not yet really but we have seen there is a lot of interest and as i mentioned before we have had an approach by a company who would like to distribute this technology okay. the equipment we also met directly a machine maker an indian machine maker who would like to partner with us and we could still do it on a one to one basis talking to each paper company even though we think it's better to have a partner on the indian territory who knows have you, made, have you made any joint venture not yet we are discussing with one end user paper company okay. to have the first installation Great. so we are t- talking about that yes yes so uh, in in total in total uh, what are the merits and demerits of your product madam Uh, I think we have a lot of the demerits are it's a mechanical treatment if we drive it to the excess we have an impact on strength in paper which is compensated by this is very technical now by an increase in TEA so called tensile energy absorption the work a paper can do before it breaks so maybe the classical feel of paper strength has to be there maybe we lose something if we have it in a very heavy treatment but we gain a lot in work the paper can do if we don't treat it to an excess we don't have an impact on strength the demerits maybe are that it is something new that somebody has to risk that paper makers are shy like every new thing in a heavy industry is something people are shy to do the first we can say we have it installed in italy in a paper mill at 600 meters a minute we have never tried it at 1000 meters okay. we have never tried it so we don't know downwards there is no problem at all we we think it is something interesting mobile paper already 20 years ago and everybody said oh yes because the plastic is so bad so people talk a lot and then maybe by time having passed now the market is more mature to per, to receive this okay. message of a new material okay what goal you have set for in next 5 year for indian market ma'am I don't know. I simply don't know for the Indian market. We hope to have a lot of joint ventures here. We have seen there is a le- interest for the corrugated area. We have seen there is an interest it for the not cellulose but bagasse fiber based area. I hope to be here soon again and talk directly to customers here in India. Okay. Great.